Hello Tauruses. This is for Taurus Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I hope that you're all doing well. This is what do they want to say to you? So whoever you're thinking about in this moment that you're missing, that you love, and maybe you're in separation and you want to know what they think of you, the first card out the gate for you is power. You ex instinctively know what is right for you and you have the power to say no or walk away at any time. Wow. Okay, this this came up in your last reading as well. Interesting, because the title of that reading was It's Okay to Walk Away. Perhaps you're with somebody that is not so good for you, and they even know it. And I hate to say it, but Taurus says you might be with somebody who is manipulating you, and they know that they're doing it. They know that they're hurting you, cutting fake people out of my life. I think that this is what they're trying to tell you. But in the same respect, they're telling you that they've got some people around them, people, places, things that aren't good for them. And they know it, but it's taking them some time to be able to get rid of them for whatever reason it is. What is this cutting fake people out of my life, please? Yeah, they're in a transformation stage right now. So whether this was friends that were getting involved or people and their opinions could be dealing with a Scorpio, but they're definitely going through a transformation right now. And I don't even feel that it's only fake people out of their life. I feel that it's things that they no longer need. They're trying to free themselves. They're freeing themselves from something that is not good for them. Could be anything could be vices maybe they're they have addiction problems i have your picture saved on my phone that's sweet so they still see you as the most important person to them obviously if they're keeping your picture around they're not letting go they're still holding on but they're just getting through some tough period right now they may have come through a lot of conflict or maybe you guys were in conflict and you were both standing your ground to the point where maybe you said some nasty things to each other but this person i feel has someone abusive around them and i know that that doesn't sound so great but with the five of swords that comes before the six of swords there's somebody that has some kind of trauma bond attachment here and so they continue to allow themselves to be abused in some way, shape, or form, mentally, verbally. It's, I feel bad for this person, actually, because they want to transform and they want the cycle to end. But again, that's that addiction, right? That's why so many people that have addictive people or uh, abusive people around them can't free themselves. And they actually struggle, too, with their own behavior because they don't see how they're picking it up. It could be a parent-child situation, like maybe their parents aren't so great to them, and maybe it could be a brother or a sister, but there's somebody here that isn't so good to them. I'm asking for some time to get myself together first. See? They don't know. I don't even think that they know who they are. I think that they've been going through so many power struggles with whatever it is that they're dealing with that they're saying that they're sorry. They're just having a hard time letting go of whoever this is that's in their environment that is hurting them. And this person triggers them and brings them back to a horrible state of being and then they've got to pull themselves out. And as you can see, she's in this boat and she's pretty upset there, pretty pulled into herself, just like this Four of Pentacles. Maybe this person's trying to save money to get out of this situation, or maybe they, they have to lie about the resources that they have, but they're planning on leaving. They're definitely planning on leaving. Maybe if you're dealing with somebody who's already involved with someone else, but they just need a little bit of time here, Taurus. What is this I'm asking for some time to get myself together? Yep. They're carrying heavy burdens. 
And I feel that they're finally at the end, though, which is good. Because, like I said, this transformation is happening. They can't carry the weight of this on them anymore. Whoever it is you're dealing with, they may even have gone through some depression or anxiety. They could be struggling with a few mental health issues. And they're trying to find the calm. They're trying to find some clarity. Because they've been struggling so much. They've been carrying so much of the load. It's just become too much and they need to put it down because this is about heading for a collapse or a breakdown. And now I'm the bad guy. Now it's possible that they have the power to walk away, but if they are trauma bonded, and if you don't know what that is, maybe look it up. But if they're trauma bonded to somebody in their environment, anyone, family or whatever, or even the friends they keep. Yeah, he's heartbroken. Whoever this is, they're heartbroken. He or she definitely, they don't want to be the bad guy. I don't feel like they do, but they've got a lot of issues that they need to work through. And also change doesn't happen overnight, so they need, they definitely need this time. And they can't give you what you need even if they wanted to because they're stuck they're stuck trying to transform which is taking every last bit of their energy and i think that they vacillate they vacillate between i'm sorry and i care about you to blaming you as well where they twist it on you right embrace through each other you find the missing pieces. I think what Spirit is saying is now is an opportunity to practice patience and practice unconditional love for this person if you do care about them because they're struggling here. This person may even have a problem with third parties. They, they may be so closed off that they just take what they need and then they go, right? Let's get... you some advice here. What do we got for this spirit? I got surrender to wonder and awe as well as surrender to spirit. Yeah, spirit is basically just saying um, you need to take a step back. And surrender your desire to control people. Being over controlling can sabotage relationships. To more effectively achieve your goals, back off, regroup, and give the situation some breathing room. So there we go. It just needs some space right now. But also I feel like in this space too, you're going to see how it's driving you crazy. This dynamic, right? Whoever this is, they've got a lot going on. Surrender your attachment to results. Exactly. The formula for success is to do all you can, make things happen, then let go of the results. Holding on too tightly to a desired outcome can sabotage it. And that's the thing. We want so much for things to go a certain way that we cling so tightly to it that we end up messing it up because then we start doing things to try to control the outcome, right? By manipulating or changing our behaviors like for example ignoring somebody so that they'll call us you know just low vibrational stuff right now sometimes you don't call because you're giving them that space and that's good let them come to you surrender to wonder and awe open to the magic of every moment and sense the awe and wonder in all of life this attitude will keep you connected to the ecstasy of flow Oh, that's so sweet. Spirit wants you to rise above this situation right now, but not only does spirit want you to, I think your person needs you to as well. I think that they're really trying. I really do, Tauruses. I know that it may not, you may be able to look at this and say, well, I can handle it. Why can't you? Or I could handle something like that. Or I've been through that, but it's just everybody deals with things differently, right? And not everybody is as strong in the moment because they're all on their journey at the same time. And I know you miss them, but trust me, I feel like they're missing you too. 
And if this is just a friendship, again, I feel like your friend is going through some tough times right now. But through each other, you do find the missing pieces because what it is, is they're finding that the pieces they need are people like you as opposed to the people that they've been surrounding themselves with. Right? Okay, Tauruses, I hope that that helped bring some clarity. And I'm sending you so much love. Have a great rest of your day. Bye, guys.